Hi there, this is Jacob Martinez from actnaturally.net and theactmatrix.com. And this is just a little video about an exercise that I developed a while ago, maybe a year or two ago. It doesn't really have a name. I call it the kind of compassion-focused act wheel. I did something a while back called the act wheel. And this is kind of just a, a, another simpler version of it. And so what you've got here is just seven points arranged in a circle with a center circle. And the way we use this with clients is we can hand them the sheet and we can put one on our lap as well. And we can just guide our client through each of these seven points. Most of them are questions that we're asking the client or that the client is asking themselves. The client can also do this at home for homework. It's great for that purpose. So let's go through each of the seven points and then the center point together. Typically when we use this sheet, we're focusing on inner experience. So something that, that the client is, is um, noticing inside of themselves, a thought, a feeling, a memory, anything like that. So we start here at the top and our job is just to identify what is it that is showing up for me? Just to put a, a word or a label to it. I'm having a thought that, th that this is happening, or I'm feeling anxiety, or I'm experiencing anxiety. I'm remembering the time, you know, in fifth grade that this thing happened to me. So here the, the mission is just to identify what the experience is and to name that experience. And then we move down this direction. So with this exercise, we're always going counterclockwise. And here, the next step is to verbalize the inner experience factually and non-judgmentally. And the way we do that is by incorporating the environment around us. So for example, we might say something like, here in my room by the window, listening to the birds outside, I am experiencing anxiety. Or here at my desk at work at nine o'clock in the morning, I am experiencing frustration. And so when we're doing this here, um, this is kind of a diff diffusion move. Um, it's, it's similar to this, the very simple diffusion move of just saying, I'm having a thought that, or. I am noticing myself have the thought that. All we're doing is we're incorporating the environment which is always around us, and we're adding that in as context to our inner experience. Let me move down here. The next step is to extract the importance contained inside the inner experience. Whatever, it's going, whatever that's going on inside of us is always connected to something that matters to us. So all we're doing is we're, just, we're kind of extracting that importance, diving into it, asking ourselves, what is it that I care about here? Why, why is it that this is so important to me? And we can name that and say it out loud. And then we move down here. And here we're just kind of trying to see what is the automatic response to my inner experience? What is the emotion embedded in the emotion? In other words, all of our inner experience comes with it, uh, perhaps a, a sense of movement or motion. It could be anything at all. It could be just the desire to kind of continue sitting. It could be kind of a, an upward um, energy that's kind of flowing through your body. It could be the desire to kind of push away or to bring something close to you. So we're just trying to explore what is, what is the, the thing that we're experiencing on the inside? What is the next step? What is it wanting from us? Is there, is there something that is to be completed here, uh, a movement at all? We can practice doing uh, experiments with clients. We can uh, practice little movements where, if that's appropriate in session physically. You know, maybe the, the, the thing inside is, is saying, you know, I, I need to stand up here. And we get up on, out of our seat and stand up together. Or to curl inward and we kind of curl up into a ball on the couch. So whatever the, the uh, response is there, 
we just kind of practice that and notice what that feels like and we can process that out and explore that. Then we move here to the next step and we kind of think, what is this response trying to achieve? So if there's a motion or a movement embedded in the emotion or the inner experience, then what is that uh, attempting to function? You know, how is that functioning for us? Is it something that is helping us feel safe? Is it something that is, you know, helping us avoid or push something away? Is it something that's helping us hold on to something tightly? So we can analyze how the experience itself is functioning for us and also how our response or our urged response or impulse response is functioning for us. And then we come up here and we ask um, what is essentially a compassion-focused therapy question, which is, given my life history, you know, all the things that I've experienced and witnessed, does it make sense that I would have this response to this experience and that it might be so impactful for me? And the answer to this question is always yes. I've never had a client say no. So in other words, the experience that they're feeling is natural and normal. And then also their automatic response to that experience is also natural. It's, it, it's a result of their life history. You know, it makes sense that I would want to push this thing away given my experiences in life and how I've, I've had to kind of push these things away in order to protect myself. It makes sense that I would want to get closer to this thing given my life history and, and how much I've, I've always wanted to, to kind of be close to these things. And then we can kind of move up here and then we come into this place of action of you know, what words and actions might move me toward the person I want to be in this moment. And what we want to do here is we want to really literally think of words and actions that the client can do. Words that might be compassionate towards the self or words that might be compassionate towards the other. When I say compassionate, I don't just mean kind or nice. I just mean uh, compassionate and useful. We can be compassionate and critical. And then any actions that the client might be able to do for themselves or for others in this moment. And then that's it. We're done with the wheel. We, we went all the way around it, all those seven points. And then we can go back to the center now. We can ask this question of, you know, who is the person capable of this? Well, it's me. And the next step is just to do it out of this office, not, not just in this office. To do it with the sheet down rather than using the sheet in front of you. And so that's how we use this exercise here with clients. We always start at the top. We always move counterclockwise and just go through the steps. You can take as little or as, as much time as you want to on each step with the client. And then clients can take it home and practice on their own as well. And so put, to put this into more of a kind of a, a context of, of act, here are this top uh, first question, we're just getting in contact with the present moment. With the second one, we're contacting or we're uh, building up the skill of diffusion. But we're also pointing towards the self as a process and the self as context here. And then here we're kind of exploring and clarifying values. And then here we're just kind of analyzing function with these two. So we're just taking that functional stance, adding some self-compassion in towards ourselves. Uh, you can call these, you know, three kind of acceptance moves. And then here's some committed action. And then more self as context here in the center. So you can download download this uh, as a PDF. It's you know, really easy to print out. It's right on a sheet of paper. And then hopefully you can find some use for this with your clients. Sorry, I drew all over it. Um, but it's, it's really neat just to kind of move from the top all the way around these seven points. Try it out on yourself as well before doing it with any clients. Just take, you know, what is happening for you right now, verbalize that factually and non-judgmentally, and just go through the, the rest of the steps and just see what happens after doing that. Notice 
any change inside of yourself, any increased perhaps motivation or drive to do something that matters to you or to be that person that you want to be. Thank you very much.